Let's continue with Krita AI Diffusion and explore the Flux model for both high and low memory graphic cards. To begin, I will run the application using a prompt I found online. The preset used here is the cinematic photo with the Stable Diffusion 1.5 model, and it is working well. The image looks good, the application is working, and Stable Diffusion 1.5 is still preferred for realistic skin tones. However, you will need to use the Flux model for better control. In the configuration, we have seen all the style presets mentioned above, and this test preset was primarily for creating videos and testing purposes. Now let's try the Flux and Flux Schnell presets. If I click on the first one, you will see the model on the right because I tested it once before making a video. You may see a message stating, checkpoint used by style is not installed. If I select the Schnell preset, this is the message I was referring to. Now let's look at the four types of models available in Flux that can be used here. I will obtain a model from Hugging Face. The profile name is Comfy York. You can press Ctrl and the letter F to search for Flux, and these are the models available. The Dev model is for the first preset, while the Schnell model is for the second preset. I will click to open, go to Files and Versions. This is a 17 GB file, an FP8 model. Links for all the models I will show will be in the description. Click the download icon to get the file. The location for the file will be where I installed Krita. This server too is where all the AI code and comfy UI are located. I hope you have seen the previous videos. Inside comfy UI, then models and then checkpoint folder, you need to keep the file here. Back to Krita AI. In the image configuration, the model name is already there in my case. You might need to refresh this and select the model. If it does not work, just restart the Krita software. This preset does not allow you to change the settings, but you can create a copy and then customize it. Select the new preset from the dropdown and click Generate. The image here may not be very impressive, but you will have more control over the image generation if you specify the details in the prompt. The skin looks fake, but there are ways to improve it. This could be a topic for a future video. However, this SD 1.5 image has better skin quality. I will take this highly detailed prompt from here and paste it, then click Generate. The image looks great. Returning to the configuration options, I will select the second preset, Flux Schnell. Below, it indicates that I do not have the checkpoint. I will go to Hugging Face, and this is the Schnell model, which is faster compared to the dev model I downloaded earlier. Keep it in the same checkpoint folder I showed before. After downloading, I return to the configuration, but it's not showing. I close the application and start it again, and now it appears in the Schnell preset. The preset is now in the dropdown, select it and click Generate. The graphic memory used is around 14 gigabytes, but it should also work on a 12 gigabyte card. Both the dev and Schnell models are the same size. The difference lies in the image generation time. Of course, there is a loss in quality when generating images quickly, but it's not that bad. What are your thoughts? If I switch back to the Flux Dev preset, there is a dip in memory usage because the Schnell model is removed and the Dev model is loaded. The quality difference is clearly noticeable. Now, let's say you don't have a larger graphics card and wish to run Flux models. You should find these GGUF models on Hugging Face. These Flux models are smaller in size and should work on 6 and 8 GB cards. The GGUF models are available for both the Dev and Schnell versions of the Flux models, starting from Q2 to Q8. The larger the number, the bigger the size, thus requiring more memory on the graphics card. 
To use these models, I will download two of them from here. The Q3 model should be fine. I will save it in a different folder this time. Inside the server folder for Comfy UI, I previously kept the models here, but for GGUF model, go to Comfy UI, then Models, and then Diffusion Models. The other model I will download is the Q6 and save it in the Diffusion Model folder. I will also get the Schnell models, specifically the Q3 and Q6 Schnell models. Back in Krita, I will select the Flux preset, and there is a message prompting me to create a copy. I made a copy of the original preset, and now I will select the GGUF model. It is not visible, so I will try refreshing. And there it is. I will select the Q3 model. Now it says these files are missing. The models we have used until now were checkpoints, which consist of unit, VAE, and text encoder. The GGUF model I just downloaded contains only the unit, so the remaining components need to be downloaded. I will search for flux one devaesafetensers I can get the VAE from here, and the link will be in the description of the video. This file corresponds to the first missing file. The two files below are for text encoding. I will search for Comfy Anonymous Clip L. You can download it from here, but let me check all the files. So this is the file Clip L. The second required file is the T5FP8 file. I will download the AE.safetensor file. The file location will be not in the Diffusion Model folder, but inside the VAE folder. Next, I will locate the ClipL file in the Clip folder. The T5 file also goes in the Clip folder. Once I have the files, I will open Krita. The Refresh button does nothing. I will rename the preset to GGUF for clarity. After restarting Krita, the GGUF files are recognized. I will keep Q3 selected and click Generate. The memory usage is high, but the program is designed to utilize as much memory as possible. There may be a difference in generation time, but it should work on a smaller card as well. The result looks good compared to the image generated by the Schnell version. In the configuration, I will add Q3 to its name. I will create a copy by clicking the two-dot icon. This copy will be for the Q6 model. I will name it after Q6, select the model, and click OK. After selecting the Q6 preset, I will click Generate. The model is loaded, and the generated image is great. Now, I will make a copy of the Schnell preset and name it GUF Q3. Then select the Q3 model. I will also create a copy for the Q6 Schnell model. Next, I will select the Schnell Q3 preset and click Generate. The memory usage decreased, and the result is satisfactory. What do you think? I selected the Q6 preset. And the memory usage is a bit higher, but I am pleased with the results I am getting. I hope the video was helpful. I will right click to quickly save the image. It should be saved out of the Krita folder. Try using Flux. It may be bad at human skin, but it works well for animals and objects. Make sure to specify the details in the prompt. 